Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Green here. Welcome back. It's Monday, March 23rd, 2020. And today, it's snowing outside. So, hello to everyone. Um, I know some of you have been watching the YouTube channel, Nairmac Library, so you're watching the home videos of the read-alouds every day, every weekday. So I want to give a special shout out to a couple people who made comments. I'd like to say hi, special hi to Janae, and a special hi to Audrey. Hi Audrey, because I know you two have been watching the channel every day, and some of you have been making comments. So if you make a comment, say hi, I'd love to hear from you. I miss you all, and it would be nice to hear from you. So today's story is called, What If You Had T-Rex Teeth and Other Dinosaur Parts? Written by Sandra Markle, and it's a scholastic book. What if one day when you woke up, you felt a little bit strange? Then you discovered one part of your body was now very different. What if overnight a dinosaur's body part had taken its place? If you had Tyrannosaurus Rex teeth, you'd never need a knife to cut up your food. If you had Velociraptor's stickle-tipped toes, you could open presents in a flash. If you had Stegosaurus's spiked tail, you'd always be ready to toast marshmallows by the campfire. If you had Parasaurus's head crust, you could lead the school marching band. If you had Ankylosaurus's body armor, you'd be the hockey team's MVP. If you had Brachiosaurus's neck, you could easily see over everyone's heads at the movies. If you had Therizinosaurus's claws, you could make the best hedge sculptures. If you had Edmontosaurus's shovel-shaped jaws, you would win every food-eating contest. If you had Triceratops horns, you could carry all the groceries in one trip. If you had Dilophorus's hind legs, you would be a star dancer. If you had Spinosaurus's sail, you'd be a champion windsurfer. Dinosaur parts could be cool for a while, but you don't need a 30 foot long neck to reach your food or a super strong bite to eat it. Your voice sounds just fine without a long head crest to fine tune it. And you don't need a giant sail to be noticed. But if you could keep any dinosaur part for more than a day, what kind would be right for you? So that's something to think about. What kind of dinosaur part would you like? Luckily, you don't have to choose. You are li you're not living a long time ago in the age of the dinosaurs. You're living now. All your parts are people parts. They are exactly what you need to be the one and only you. I hope you enjoyed that story today. I'm going to have more stories every weekday. And I have some exciting news. We have some guest readers that, that are going to read. I have Miss Mikulik is going to do a reading in Spanish. And her daughter Amaya, a former Naramac student, is also going to do a read aloud in Spanish. My niece Emily Ferroni is going to do a read aloud. She's a former Naramac student, as well as... Um, Kelly Halloran, she's going to do a read aloud. She's at UConn now, studying to be a teacher. She's going to be a guest reader. And Mrs. Mitchell just contacted me today. She'd like to be a guest reader, so she's going to record a video too. So I'm going to post all those videos soon, every day of the week, so that you can enjoy a read aloud every day. Hope you're all staying safe. Take care, and see you soon. Bye.